Hello there, friends. Welcome back into Fall of Porcupine. Uh, last time, we kind of are stuck at the hospital at the moment. There's a the big protest going on outside, and they're completely swamped. So we just finished one round of patients. Now we got to work on another. I'm going to head back for P31 right here, since I know it's close by. But I hope you're all having an awesome day. Welcome on in. Good evening. Uh, I'd like to start your treatment. Your colleague said you give me an injection. Will it help with the pain? Let's hope so. With a little luck, you might be able to get some sleep. I feel like I'm gonna die. Oh. I'm sorry, bud. Okay, so that right there probably looks like the best place. I don't know, it's pretty decent, I'd say. I appreciate that they didn't make this look too gruesome. Like, it's kind of gross, but as someone who absolutely cannot stand needles, uh, I don't even really mind it that much, so... <laughs> okay, injection done. I hope it kicks in soon. I've never felt this bad in my life. We'll give you a full checkup as soon as we can. In the meantime, try and get some sleep. Please hurry. There's something really wrong with me. I know it. Oh, bud, we got you. Don't you worry. You are going to be fine. All right. And then the other two are both in 301. Hello. Good evening. Everything hurts. Please do something. Oh, no. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm about to make things a heck of a lot worse. God. Oh, that actually went pretty well. That was probably the best I've done in a while. <laughs> Look at me go. <laughs> I'll take a B. Your body's fighting something. We're gonna find out what it is as quick as we can. Thank you. I hope it isn't contagious, or is it always so busy here? Don't worry about that. My colleague will be back to check on you again soon. Uh, oh, no, wait. <laughs> You're both in here. Hi, I'm gonna do the pill thing, and I'm probably gonna mess it up, but I will try my best. Good evening. Please. I can hardly breathe. Okay, uh, so I need to take down blue a little bit, up orange, no red whatsoever. So how about right off the bat, we're gonna deal with red and green. There we go. Uh, pink I need to add to... How about this? Pink I need to add to... And... I can... Oh, this isn't it, is it? Did I do it? Aha! Uh -huh. Look at me go. Yeah, you know that's A rank. <laughs> okay, my colleague will be uh, here in a minute to give you your new medication. Thank you. I don't want to die. We'll do everything we can to make sure you get well soon. I promise you that. So, I think the only thing that concerns me is that these patients were one given to us by Mia. And I'm a bit worried, like, what if we did something in the wrong order? Does that make sense? Like, what if someone was meant to be getting the injection, someone else was meant to be doing something else? Oh no, I'm sorry. The fourth floor is even fuller than here. All the beds are occupied. There was some talk about whether we could fit more beds in somewhere. And then there was an incident. An elderly lady collapsed, I had to lend a hand for a while. And I didn't know the place well, so... It's all right. Take a deep breath. Better? Better. How did it go here? I'm done with everything so far. Can I take a look? Yes, judge me, for I did decent. <laughs> Actually, you know, you know, that's an A rank. Heck yeah. Everyone seems to be doing better. It's nice to know I can trust you with my task in case of emergency. I'll try to return the favor soon. Thanks for taking over. How do you feel? Uh, no problem, I'm doing good. You're really tough. 
With all this running, I may as well quit the gym. Could really use some coffee right now. Let's do that then. Not this time of day. Dead tired, actually. Have you heard from Carl yet? No, now that you mention it. I've not spoken to him. Should we give him a call? Maybe he has some news for us. Good idea. And... Nothing. He's not picking up. Strange. I hope everything's alright. Finley, Mia? Come quickly, please. The patient in room 302 is really sick. We can't stabilize him. Oh, I'm on my way. I don't know what I can do, but I'm gonna try to help. Finley, Mia, quickly. Help me stabilize the patient. The cramps keep getting worse. The patient is unresponsive. We need to... Oh. What? Dr. Kowalski, I... Be quiet. Sander, take the deceased details. The patient suffered from severe and irregular abdominal cramps. We noticed heavy gastrointestinal bleeding. Dr. Lynn would advise against surgical treatment. The blood work needs to be evaluated immediately. We know the bleeding was caused by a bacterial infection. Everything else will become clear soon. Please leave now. Uh, oh, I think we're gonna get yelled at no matter which option we choose at the moment. Yes, there is. Please give me a little space. And get some rest. But don't you need a break? Not right now. This is an extreme case. I'll consult Dr. Gautera and wait for the results from Dr. Halil. I need you fresh and well rested in the morning. If this patient fell sick without warning, others could too. Even if there's no indication of a direct risk of infection. Please be prepared. We'll know more tomorrow. So, was 302, forgive me because again, a couple days in between recording sessions here, was that the one who collapsed in the in the crowd outside because if whatever got him was infectious uh that wouldn't be good <laughs> is our friend here no okay What a night. Whatever, time to get to the hospital. Oh, we're not in our winter outfit. And it's fall again. Are we dreaming? There's nobody here. It's like a ghost town. That's so weird. Why are we back in fall? I feel like we're dreaming. We have to be dreaming. Um, you know what? Can I take the bus? I want to see what's going on here. All right, well, we were able to take the bus. Oh, those aren't usually there. The ambulance is supposed to use the back entrance, really. And that crowd is gone, but they left all their signs. I am concerned. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> that was just really funny. The way they were like default expression and then when I came in their eyes just like kind of closed a little bit. My belly feels like it's on fire. Oh no. I think I'm gonna faint. Uh, Ingrid, what? 
Finley, I really can't talk right now. We're getting overwhelmed. The wards are almost full. We've got more and more people coming in with the same symptoms. I'm trying to organize more beds. Make yourself useful and get to your ward. Oh my god, what? I just got beds in the hallways? Hi, you oh my god, okay. It's pretty crowded here. How was the night shift? Don't ask, don't ask. I'm pretty sure my bloodstream is like 80% coffee right now. Don't you want to take a break? Nope, nope, break later, things to do. They want us all to head to the break room. Dr. Krosky's got something to tell us. Works for me, I was just going to get myself another coffee anyway. <laughs> Are you going to be 90% coffee after that? Good morning. I have a small announcement to make. You look tired, Dr. Krosky. Did you even go home last night? We know more about what we're dealing with now, but we still need some time. The bacteria is aggressive. We've been able to contain it to a certain extent, but some patients are still experiencing internal bleeding. But that's not what I called you here for. As you may have noticed, our wards are full. What's more, a few of our staff have also started falling ill. If more people are admitted as the day goes on, we will hit full capacity. And what does that mean? means that if we run out of space, we're going to have to turn people away. But, yes, I know. This is new for me, too. But we have no choice. People are already being reallocated to other- or sorry, reallocated to other hospitals in the local area. But the nearest hospital is over an hour's drive away. We can no longer treat them here. I would ask you to take note of this information. We can't just send people back onto the streets. I know some of these people might be seriously ill, we- Wait a minute, Dr. Krosky. Carl! What are you doing here, Carl? Don't you know you're not currently authorized to be here? Yeah, yeah. Any idiot can see the hospitals bursting at the seams. So it seems, how else are we to explain your presence? I can't just sit by and watch people croak. I won't let you just- I won't let you down just because of some stupid forced vacation. Who's gonna stop me? Dr. Theobald's vanished into thin air. If he wants me thrown out, he can come up here and try it with his bare hands. And what's your plan? You think you can conjure up a second hospital with a wave of your magic wand? I don't need to. The ward on the fifth floor. Dr. Krosky, we can get it running again. There's plenty of space up there. Most of the beds are still in place. That ward has been out of operation for years. What, so you'd rather send all those sick people back home? Very well. I won't claim I'm happy about this, but since you're already here, get the fifth floor ward up and running as fast as you can. I'll help Carl with that. Can't say I'm surprised to hear you volunteer, Finley. I'll go to the lab and see Dr. Hillel. I hope he has good news. Yes, Sandra, I'd leave this ward to your hands. Are you up to the responsibility? Yes. Ain't no thing. Good luck, everyone. Now get moving. Come on, Finley. Let's take a look at the ward upstairs. Okay, Carl, we gotta talk, buddy. I'm assuming when we're upstairs, we'll probably hear a little bit more. But the fact that they still haven't found Dr. Theobald, I do wonder if he was maybe like patient zero. Perhaps. Um, because he kind of just went. He kind of just disappeared all of a sudden. Oh, heck. <laughs> no, game, don't do this to me. <sighs> okay. Yes, I made it through the door. Okay. <laughs> oh, oh, no, we're going upstairs. Oh, man, I am absolutely loving this game, but that is one thing I will have to knock it on. It is very unstable and it's getting worse the further into the game i get i don't know if this has happened to anyone else i know of at least one other person who has played this game i know on switch uh, i don't think i asked them if it was stable or not but 
Oh, and there's an autosave plaza. <laughs> do you really think we can do this? Sure we can. There's a lot of junk lying around and we got no electricity. But if we work together, we'll get the hang of it. It doesn't have to hold together for years, just long enough for us to ride out this wave. I'll deal with the bedrooms. You take care of the corridors. We're not trying to win a prize for best interior design. Just clear enough space so we can get through. Understood. Okay. I don't know what you want me to do in the corridors, but I'll try to figure it out. Just, Finley, you're not allowed to have another accident here? Huh. Magic cleaning. I gotta go. It's as good as new. Why did we stop using this ward in the first place? It has a lovely rustic charm. Maybe it has something to do with all the mold. The discarded machinery. That thick layer of dust that's covering everything. Alright, alright, you've made your point. But the dust only moved in here later, you know. Okay, we've almost got everything we need. We're just missing the power. I might be able to help with that. I once administered emergency treatment to the junction box in surgery. I'm afraid this ward doesn't have a junction box. When the others got refurbished, this one was just left to rot. I'd guess the breakers to this ward are down in the basement. That's where the main distributor is. I'll go downstairs and turn on the power. Good, I'll get started filling up the beds and rooms. There's plenty of people waiting downstairs after all. I don't know why I'm so nervous about this. I think it's just the... The Theobald thing, the, the Dr. Theobald thing, it's making me very anxious. Oh, <laughs> he kind of just fell. Alright, basement. Also, I find hospitals kind of low-key creepy enough. Imagine being led up to a dark ward. And it's like, yeah, the power's going to be on in a minute. And it's like, please don't make me be up here right now. Uh, Is it this way? Is this what I'm looking for? That's it. If I carry on like this, I'll be able to qualify as a professional electrician soon. Now I need to get back upstairs. Carl's on his own up there. Uh, I don't know. I don't... Okay. If you say so. <gasps> oh, he's not dead! Hold on, that's... Dr. Theobald, what were you thinking? Have you any idea what's been going on around here? Yes, I know, of course. That's why I'm here. Now just listen to me for a moment, please. I had to go. I couldn't stay here anymore. I take full responsibility. I always wanted the best for St. Ursula's, believe me. A few years ago, I was appointed chief physician, but not without help. Roman Hydrich already held a lot of influence over the hospital even back then. He offered me the position of chief physician as part of a restructuring. At the time, I thought it was the best way for me to actively help the hospital. I was still too young, I hadn't really earned the position. But I went along with it and Roman uh, supplanted my predecessor for me. We had big plans. Everything was great at first, but Roman put more and more pressure on me. He had interests of his own. He didn't even try to hide them from me. He kept coming to me with strange ideas. He wanted to take more and more money out of the hospital. When I refused, he started blackmailing me. I had to sign bills, purchase orders, and other documents for him. Otherwise, he would blow the cover on our agreement. As chief physician, I would have taken the fall for everything. So I went along with it for the good of the hospital. However, as we drew more and more public attention, Roman got cold feet. He took off and advised me to do the same. Sooner or later, his scam would be uncovered. And, well, here we are. I couldn't leave the hospital in such a time of need. I will take responsibility for what I've done. I'm so sorry about everything. I never should have... Oh! Pull yourself together. Look at yourself. I'm furious. I'd never have thought you were capable of such a thing. You really care about us and St. Ursula's? Then get a move on and help the staff. Now... We don't have time for all that, all this whining. But I...
Dr. Karaski, what's going on here? Finley, what are you doing here? I thought you were on the fifth floor. No matter, the power's gone out. Maybe we overloaded the grid. The hospital's running on emergency power. I'll speak with Grigor. Uh, we'll get this under control as quickly as possible. And I'll make sure that all the wards can continue working. Finley, please go to our ward. Check on Mia and the others. What about Carl? Carl's extremely experienced. He'll be fine without you for a few minutes. I'll be there in a minute. Got it. Alright, well there is Theobald. I was just like, he's dead. <laughs> he's dead and we're never gonna see him again. We're gonna like find him in one of the rooms or something. And my guess was either, yeah, patient zero uh, or something a little bit more dark because I assumed he had something sketchy going on and maybe he couldn't take the pressure of that anymore. But he's good, so that's good. Yeah, the power's out. Yes, I can see that. Or rather, I can't see a great deal of anything right now. Are you all right here? Do you need a hand? We'll muddle through. Sandra's got the ward under control. Where's Dr. Krosky? She's checking all the wards. Uh, checking all the wards have everything they need. Dr. Theobald's taking care of the power failure. Dr. Theobald, did I hear that right? Yes, he's back. I just ran into him while he was explaining himself to Dr. Krosky. He was... What's wrong? <gasps> Can you smell that, Mia? What do you mean? It smells like smoke. The fifth floor. It's on fire. What? Just got the ward up and running. Everything was going great. Then there was this huge bang. Sparks flying everywhere. All that old junk up there caught fire. We have to get out of here quickly. Where's Carl? He's still upstairs. We're trying to get everyone out of there. Yeah, I'm going upstairs. I have to check on Carl. Should I come with you? You stay here. Make sure the ward's evacuated properly. I... Okay, I can do this. Rene, could you help Mia, please? Sure thing. See you in a minute. Uh... Concerns increasing tenfold. Just everything keeps getting worse. Okay, there's a save state. Good, because every time I leave or enter a room, I see flashing. Carl, are you there? Over here, quick, we need help. I got you, buddy. I have nothing to help with fire. The bed's stuck. Help me move it. I got you, I got you. Almost ended very badly. Thanks, Finley. What are we gonna do now? We need to put out the fire. First, we have to get everyone out of here. There's a plan for things like this. We evacuate everyone to the school gym hall. Then we stay there until the fire's been put out. We contact the other hospitals in the area and get people out to them as soon as possible. Until then, we keep going. So, get everyone out? Get everyone out. We can't use the elevators, so we'll need to carry people downstairs. Benjamin and I can man the stairs. You go to the bottom of the stairs and take the beds as we pass them down. Demi and Arch will be waiting at the front entrance. The beds at the front of the building. What about the other wards? They'll all be doing the same thing. You think Dr. Kwaski and Mia will be okay? Yes, we'll help them out in a minute. Thank goodness we hadn't filled this ward up to capacity yet. Okay. Come on, there's no time to lose. Okay. Downstairs. Do you need anything? Are you good? Our thing's looking up there. Benjamin and Carl are vacuuming people in the beds. Great, us too. We still need people downstairs to help with the transport. On my way. Okay, I got you. I'm sorry, I just wanted to make sure you were good. Mia! Are you alright? Yeah, I'm good. The smoke's really bad, though. This floor's on fire. We need to get people out of here fast. 
Sandra and I are getting ready to evacuate our ward now. We'll bring everyone downstairs. I'll help push them to the main entrance. Good. Take care, please, Finley. You too. See you soon. I almost feel like I shouldn't stop to talk to people, but I'm, I'm just concerned. Almost evacuated everyone, but they still need urgent help downstairs. Got you. Can do. Theobald? I can't believe it. How could this happen? Yep, this kind of sucks. We shouldn't have turned on that breaker. <sighs> oh my god. All right. Let's go, buddy. Out we go. <sighs> oh, there are so many beds. Okay, we'll be fine. Oh, are we getting progressively more and more covered in ash? Am I seeing that right? Okay, okay. One. Is that bathroom on fire too? All right, we're going in order. Two. I hope it's just these. Oh, that was a weird glitch. <laughs> I hope it's just these three and that there isn't more to the other side of the elevator, but we'll see. Oh, Finley, baby. You're not looking so good. Okay, there we go. There we go. Okay. And now you. Okay. I need to go back and make sure there's no one else. Oh, hi, Mia. <gasps> oh my god, there was someone else. Okay. I got you. You'll be fine. Is that everyone? No, maybe not. Oh. Finley, you're still here. You need to leave. Take the next transport to the gym. The rest of the staff are already on their way. I'm sure your services will be needed there. Don't you think I should do another check of the hospital? We might have missed some people. I've been to a lot of the wards. I'll do one last round on the ground floor, then I'll be right behind you. I'll come with you. You've done well, better than I could have done. I'll be all right. I'll just hold my stethoscope tight. Go now, Finley. And thank you. I have concerns. Come on, get in here. The others need you. Ah, Finley, there you are. We need all the help we can get right now. Come on, take care, uh, take care of the sick as best as you can. I'll sign the teams, then I'll help out as well. Oh, okay. Oh. I do not have all these fingers, just for reference. There we go. Oh god. Oh, what? 
Come on, I'm doing it. There we go. Let's see the way I'm manhandling this controller. It is not human. Okay. There we go. I got you. I got you. I got you. Oh, maybe I don't got you. <laughs> Are we okay? Oh no. Don't do this to me again. I guess I'm just going to continue running uh, up and down here a little bit and just try to catch people as they might need help. Oh no, I feel like they're giving me my two worst mini games on purpose. Finley? Leave it. Dr. Krosky, glad you're here. This patient's very sick. I... She's beyond your help now. But... Can't you see? The woman's already dying. But I can... You can help me. I need you up front urgently. Please come with me quickly. it oh my goodness so I did hear I mentioned it earlier in my playthrough here that I heard that the game ended very suddenly in some ways and it didn't really feel quite like a lot was resolved 
Um, I can see where people were getting that from. I still think it was a pretty good game. Um, like I mentioned earlier, it has been crashing a lot. I ran into so many different errors with this game. It randomly turned German at one point. It, um, we had like see through Finley. I've had crash after crash after crash, but I still felt for the characters. I still was interested in the story. Um, and I still enjoyed my experience, even with all the issues. Um, once again, I was given a key for this to check out this game, and I'm really glad I had the chance to check it out, even with all the issues. Uh, I am hoping that they make the builds, whether it's just for PS5 or for other platforms, a little bit more stable so that people can actually, you know, have a seamless experience. Because <laughs> right now it's still very, uh, all over the place. Um, that being said, if you enjoyed this, if this seems like something that you would want to check out, definitely do. Uh, there's also some other games that are kind of similar that I have, uh, maybe I'll do a little shameless self-plug. I have covered those as well. Uh, of course, this game is heavily inspired by Night in the Woods. Um, and the other game that kind of gives me similar-ish vibes, but it's a little bit of a different strain, uh, than... Fall of Porcupine and Night in the Woods is um, Beacon Pines. Beacon Pines is also another one. So if you are interested, I have done playthroughs for uh, both of those other games, and I would definitely, definitely suggest checking both of those games out, as well as this one. Oh, look. Get a little bit of a resolution here. Oh, we got a new house plant. Look at how happy Finley is. I love the character designs in this too. Finley is like the cutest thing. I love his big eyes. Like a night with friends you thought could never end. Oh god, the twins. I hope that you still remember me. Like a melody that is still stuck in your head. Stuck in your head. You're still stuck in my head. Oh, and there's the, uh, the figure for Irma. Summer's gone by in the blink of an eye. It's a fine line between good times and memories. Just one breath away from eternity. Oh, summer's gone by in the blink of an eye. Summer's gone by in the blink of an eye. Always summer's gone by. Oh, Dr. Theobald! but yeah really great game very very happy i played through it um if you liked it definitely leave a like leave a comment down below uh share this playlist around it would mean the absolute world to me um and yeah as per usual guys this has been a simply press start 
where gaming is as simple as pressing start.